Hey everyone, welcome to The Daily Word. I'm really glad that you've joined me. And for our Daily Word today, we're in Exodus chapter 35. And I'd like to share with you verses 29 to 35. And then let's, uh, let's talk just for a few minutes today about having an eagerness for the work of the Lord. So if you would, hear the Word of God. So the people of Israel, every man and woman who was eager to help in the work the Lord had given them through Moses, brought their gifts and gave them freely to the Lord. Then Moses told the people of Israel, The Lord has specifically chosen Bezalel, son of Uri, grandson of Hur, of the tribe of Judah. The Lord has filled Bezalel with the Spirit of God, giving him great wisdom, ability, and expertise in all kinds of crafts. He is a master craftsman, expert in working with gold, silver, and bronze. He is skilled in engraving and mounting gemstones and in carving wood. He is a master at every craft. And the Lord has given both him and Aholiab, son of Ahishamach, of the tribe of Dan, the ability to teach their skills to others. The Lord has given them special skills as engravers, designers, embroiderers in blue, purple, and scarlet thread on fine linen cloth and weavers. They excel as craftsmen and as designers. So, friends, uh, if you remember back from Exodus 25 that the Lord commands Moses to receive an offering for the construction of the tabernacle. So in Exodus 25, 1 and 2, the Lord said to Moses, Tell the people of Israel to bring me their sacred offerings, accept the contributions from all whose hearts are moved to offer them. So the, the call is for all of those who feel a prompting from God in their hearts and are willing to follow that, that prompting, whose hearts are moved. And uh, remember, too, that that the Lord, of course, had enabled the people to make this offering. He had caused the Egyptians, essentially, as, as the, uh, the Jews are leaving, as Israel is leaving slavery in Egypt, God causes the Egyptians to kind of offload their wealth to, uh, to the Jews. And, uh, and, and so God had directly, we see, provided for the Israelites to be able to make this offering. And so it, from that perspective, seems, of course, right that they would feel moved to give only what God had first provided for them. And, um, and as you'll remember, um, while Moses was up on the, the mountain with the Lord, the people turned away, and it's almost immediate. The Lord invites them into this covenant. Moses is, is up on the mountain for a bit, and they said, oh, okay, well, Moses is gone. We don't know what this God is up to. So they take a collection. They give items of gold and create an idol. They give that idol credit for their liberation from bondage in Egypt. This is the God who brought us out uh, of Egypt. And, you know, we talked about how Moses interceded for them, how the people were were truly liable to judgment, and, uh, and the judgment of God, it seemed, was, was coming. But Moses intercedes for them, and he intercedes, you notice, not based on the character and obedience of the people, but rather he intercedes because of the faithfulness, based on the faithfulness of God, the, the character uh, of God. And God forgives. So now we're we're kind of at round two here, aren't we? The, the Lord gives them a fresh copy of the law, and he renews here the calling to build the tabernacle. Uh, the God who forgave them would still dwell right in their midst, would still be with them. And so the Lord reconciles to them to himself. And now, one of the things that I think is striking about this renewed call to build the tabernacle is how often the willingness and indeed the eagerness of the people to give, to provide, to participate, 
uh, is reinforced here. So, for instance, if we flip back to verse 5, take a sac sacred offering for the Lord, let those with generous hearts present the following gifts to the Lord. So you hear the willingness that they have generous hearts. So verse 5, also verse 21, all whose hearts were stirred and whose spirits were moved came and brought their sacred offerings to the Lord. Their hearts were, were moved. They were willing. They came forward. Then in verse 22, both men and women came, all whose hearts were willing. Then again in verse 23, all those who owned the following items willingly brought them. And again in verse 29, so the people of Israel, every man and woman who was eager to help in the work the Lord had given them through Moses, brought their gifts and gave them freely to the Lord. So again and again here we hear freely, their hearts were stirred, their spirits were stirred, they were eager to do this. And, uh, and, and it, of course, we understand why they would be. Because first of all, God had provided what they had. They were eager to give only what God had first given them. So God had provided, God had forgiven them. They, they had transgressed God's law, they had rejected God, and yet God forgave them and God reconciled them to himself. God would still command them to build this tabernacle and was still committed to be with them. So the people gave their resources, gave their skills, their understanding that that these two had come from the Lord. Their skills and their understanding, their abilities had also come from the Lord. And so the question I think for us is, are we willing and even eager to give our resources and our skills to the Lord's work? Because what we know is that what was true for them, what God had done for them, was actually just a, a foretaste, was uh, was just a, a, a sort of a sort of an illusion uh, or a promise of the fullness of what Christ would do for us. We understand that God provides for us, that that He is the one who makes a way for us. He gives us opportunities and and skills, and and He is the one that provides. He has forgiven us completely in Jesus Christ. He has reconciled us to Himself and. And he's come so close to us that we wouldn't have a tabernacle where the Lord would dwell, that we, in fact, would become God's holy temple. And so uh, we, we have experienced the fullness of what was hinted at and promised and projected in the book of Exodus with the people of God there. And so we read in 2 uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 8 and verse 9, listen to this. You know the generous grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. Though he was rich, yet for your sakes he became poor, so that by his poverty he could make you rich. And so uh, Paul is, is setting our generosity, friends, in the context of the generosity of God. We, we know what God has done for us, and so we are eager, and, and the language used here in the passage, uh, same book, 2 Corinthians, but in 9, he uses the word cheerful. So this is chapter 9 of 2 Corinthians, verses 6 through 8. Remember this, a farmer who plants only a few seeds will get a small crop, but the one who plants generously will get a generous crop. You must each decide in your heart how much to give, and don't give reluctantly or in response to pressure, for God loves a person who gives cheerfully, and God will provide, will generously provide all you need. Then you will always have everything you need and plenty left over to share with others. Now, this of course doesn't mean that God only loves you if you are generous. God so loved the world. And, and so your generosity doesn't increase his love for you or your lack of generosity. It doesn't take his love away from you. 
But what the Lord declares here, it, it sure seems to me, is that our cheerful, our eager generosity, our eagerness to be about His work, to provide the skills, the resources, the abilities that are needed for His work, our eagerness to hear His call, to feel His prompting, and to respond, that that blesses the heart of our Father, that, that it actually brings joy to the heart of God, that He loves it when we hear His call, and because of who He is and what He has done, we are eager to be about His work. And may it be so in the name of Jesus, our Savior, the one who became poor, that we might become rich. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. And friends, till we have a chance to speak again, I pray that God would bless you and that he would keep you.